Hey YouTubers, this is Kinley Day 6, aka Raymond. I know it's been a long time, but welcome to Cooking with Raymond. And now this time, guys, I'm gonna be cooking spaghetti. One of the most favorite of all dinners. I don't know, I'm sure it's your guys' favorite dinners too, so despite all that, guys, I'm gonna try to do spaghetti. So I hope you guys will bear with me on this. Ah, this is gonna be good. Now guys, the first thing you gotta do is make sure you have uh, a little dish here. Because the reason why is you have to put you have to put the uh, you gotta make sure you put the noodles in a clean bowl. Let me clean this one first, just to make sure. It's better to have, I, there, you have to use a grate in order to uh, empty the bowl. Empty, I mean, empty the stuff, empty the, uh, ugh, I can't talk right now, can I? In order to get this cleaned up. You want to put the uh, place where you will have to put the noodles in before you do it, because I got to tell you guys, um, I don't have an extra uh, pot in order to do it. So, so you guys, you guys got to bear with me. So this, I'm going to keep this in the sink, and as you guys can tell, I'm cleaning this up. The other bowl I got is stainless steel, and it doesn't work very well with it. So, I got to make do for one pot right here that I'm using. So, guys, basically a lot of people use, uh, people start the um, hamburger first, and do the, the noodles second. But for me... I'm gonna do the noodles first. Oh, it's not even, I didn't even turn it on. Always make sure guys, when you cook, make sure the thing's on when you're cooking. <laughs> now guys, now this is gonna be one of the, it's, it's easy if you know exactly what you're doing. All right, so let's get started. All right, you guys, the water is heated up, so let's get started. Now, for me, I always use, um, I always use, like, specific ones. Eh, a little warm. That's good. Um, I, 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 I usually either get Thin's Spaghetti or Angel Hair. Either one of those things. Either one of those can work. Let's see. This is 16 ounce, and this one's 16 ounce. Perfect. Now, make sure. Oh, I just broke one. <laughs> make sure you do it. Make sure you do it carefully. Now, from the looks of it, I might not need two bags. So, one bag might be enough. One bag will be enough. Yeah, one bag will be enough for that. And, yep, yeah, good. Now, Make, you always make sure that when you do spaghetti, you always check the noodles to see if they're soft and everything. It makes it really, it makes it, it's really easy to do, like I said, it's really easy to do once you know how to do it, right? Because there'll be some points where you do do it wrong. And always make sure you get the right noodles. Because, um... Most people don't, most people use like angel hair, like thin spaghetti, like a lot of people do, or <coughs> fettuccine alfredo type noodles, actually. But a lot, of, I mean, it's not, it wouldn't be called spaghetti if you have, if you're not using spaghetti noodles. <laughs> so now, now, I think I, I think I got one, ah, there it is. Always make sure they have this, because this is good for grabbing noodles. Just keep an eye on this for a while. Let it boil for about 10 to 15 minutes, and just keep moving the noodles around. The last thing you want is them to stick together, all right? Make sure you do that. All right, now make sure you test out a noodle, because uh, you always want to make sure that it's at the right thing.
almost there. It's almost there. I gotta give it another 10 to 15 minutes. All right, guys. And it's been up. Let's see. Let's take a look. Ah. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Hot. Perfect. Perfect. Now, guys. Now, it'll be really. It will be really hard. I don't have no plate. I have no placemasters or mitts to to uh, uh, hold this together. So I need uh, some wrecks. Okay, guys. Now, this is just hot water. It's really easy to dump. Just be careful. Don't burn yourself. Burn your fingers. Like I did. <laughs> Alright. Make sure they're... Woo! Hot, hot. Yeah, guys, it, it's make sure that you keep the, keep these lids closed because the last thing you want is water point out. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I think I have a grater. Do I? Oh, I do have a grater. Perfect. This is exactly what you need. Now make sure that I wash this. The next part, hamburger. Okay, make sure the thing's on. All right. Now, now the grate's on. Uh, uh, the grate's on exact on the noodles right now. say you have to have a pound of hamburger. Now this one's exactly one pound and 17. So that will have to do. There. Good. There. There. The lid actually helps out. Now guys, Ground beef is really easy. It's just like when I did Helmiger Helper. Make sure it's all brown and everything. And make sure you, uh, and make sure you empty out the grease. Same thing as usual. I'll give it to you as soon as it gets hot right now, okay? By the way, remember, when you drill out, uh, drill out, drain out the fat that is inside the Helmiger Helper, uh, out of a uh, hamburger, hamburger with the stuff, Aluminum foil does the trick. Always put it in the drain of the sink because it will catch all the grease. All the grease. And now, so far, <coughs> now I, I still need this, but now I need this, a spatula. I'm like SpongeBob. <laughs> No, this is a bad one, I'm sorry. Okay, guys. Uh, pretty good. Now, this is how you do it. See, see how it's cooked right there? Now, with the spatula, make sure you separate it. 
as you can see right there, separate right there, just as easy. And as you can see, there's smoke coming out of it. And right now it's a little brown because I used it to cook the noodles. So now, just keep doing this from time to time. Make sure it's all brown. And after that, after that you drain the fat. And once you're done draining the fat, that's where you put the noodles on top of the hamburger. And then the spaghetti sauce. I always get, I always get ragu, but this time I got prego. Prego is actually the best thing ever, usually. Prego, it's in there. That's the slogan for it. That was the old time. But um, <coughs> those two are good options, but the best option is, a Del, is the Del Monte uh, spaghetti sauce. It's in, a, it's in a can, tin can. Yeah, aluminum can, sorry. Mm. I'm not good at this very well, am I? But hey, after that, once the hamburger is done, I'm gonna show you guys at the end. All right, guys. See, as you can take a look right there, it's all brown and all ready to go. Now make sure you get rid of all the red. The last thing you want is to get sick from it, okay? Well, guys, this is it. All the red's gone. As you can see right there, it looks perfect. I left some noodles in there. It was sticking in the pot, but oh well. Either way. All right, guys, this is it. Now it is time. It is time to drain out the fattening, that the fat of the, the juice in there. Okay, now this time, I'm not gonna mess this up this time. There you go. I'm sure you hear that, guys. The last thing you want is fat in there. Last time I actually did that on the uh, um, Hamburger Helper, it tasted terrible. They say if you eat all the stuff that's in there, that's very bad for you. Very, very bad. And I'm telling you, I did that and uh, I ruined the whole dinner. So guess what I had to do? I bought dinner. I did it for my brother and his wife and accidentally messed up. I said, guys, what would you like? You want KFC? You want Taco Bell? He's like, good talk about. He's like, okay, I'll be right back. 15 minutes later, he's like, here you go. All right. Just, uh. Oh, whoops. I accidentally left the burner on. Great, now I gotta do it all over again. Now make sure, guys, make sure the burner is off. Because if you, because it's. Because right now I just created more of the fat juice in there. In there. There we go. All right. Now, this still hot. Now, let me turn this a bit. Here you go. Right. Ow. Yeah, I burned my hand. Sorry. All right. Do it carefully. Last thing you want is all over that. There we go. <laughs> Spatula is done. Oops. <laughs> Spatula is done. Now it's time to use this. Make sure it's all good, mixed with the hamburger. And now, without further ado, now did I get the right one? Hmm. Yep, I did. Perfect. Ah. Hmm. Tomato and basil. Take a look. Does that look good or what? Mm -mm. It smells good too. As you can tell guys, make sure it's all the way around. Make sure you have all the sauce in. Either way, it, 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 it's gonna taste good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oop, <laughs> spilled some. All right, 
now. It's finished, but I'm still gonna stir some more, but it's, it's finished anyway, but take a look. There you go, there you go. And that's, that's how you make spaghetti. Now, like I said before, take your time, and also make sure you keep watch, because you don't want to burn the, uh, the hamburger and everything, and when you boil the noodles, make sure that you keep an eye, because they will dissolve very easily, all right? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reaction, more gameplay. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed this. Uh, it's been a while since I did Cooking with Raymond, so <laughs> welcome. And that's the end of the sh cooking show of Raymond right there. Now I made spaghetti, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And above all, stay positive.